Each and every year, the Southeast Regional Fruit and Vegetable Conference brings growers from a number of different states together under one roof to see some of the advancements made in an ever-changing industry. Producers that attend get to do everything from networking to seeing the latest and greatest equipment. This conference is designed for our growers. It's to help our growers uh, learn uh, more uh, and improved uh, production techniques. The trade show offers vendors uh, opportunities for equipment, services, uh, all sorts of different things that, will, that would be of benefit to the growers. The conference also offers several educational sessions for producers on various topics. One of the sessions had to do with Georgia's most signature crop, peaches. The topic had to do with managing pests that affect peach trees, and the main focus is on the most severe, the San Jose scale. This is a tiny little insect that can feed on the tree itself, so it doesn't cause major damage to the fruit, but it can slowly suck out the sap of the tree, which then slowly kills it. It starts out with killing small branches and then entire limbs. Luckily, the University of Georgia has been doing research and has some ways to treat peach trees for this troublesome pest. Right now, um, our really best management practice is to do two dormant oil sprays. So we do one application of like the horticultural oil uh, late fall, and then we come back in the early spring, right basically as the buds begin to swell on the trees, we add a, a, a second application of the horticultural oil. Of course, fruit isn't the only thing affected by a pest. Vegetable growers also have to deal with Mother Nature's twist, like white flies and viruses. We've had uh, a couple of years where we had very high white fly populations, very high virus incidents, and again, we had some crops that were basically wiped out in fall production in South Georgia uh, in 2017. Uh, they weren't as severely impacted in 2018, but they were still very severely impacted. Barks talked to producers about treating white flies and he says the number one thing a producer can do is to destroy and rotate. White flies, uh, we want to you know, emphasize crop destruction when you're done with the crop so that you're not sending huge populations into that next crop. Uh, within a crop, it's, it's largely insecticides. Right now for white flies, uh, we emphasize uh, insecticide rotation because we have had some, uh, some resistance problems. Uh, and uh, those can be severe. And as for the best thing to prevent the spread of viruses in vegetable crops, resistance from the ground up. Best thing we've got for viruses where we have it is, res is uh, resistant plant types, host plant resistance. Uh, that by far surpasses anything else we can do for virus suppression. Other than that, it's really you've got to combine as many different things as you can. You're looking at uh, cultural practices, planting dates, uh, what varieties you select, uh, reflective mulches, insecticides, uh, barriers. Reporting in Savannah for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.